And sometimes I feel like I'm never gonna get over this debt. I want to give up with budgeting. Hi friends, how are you all doing? Hello, hello. For this video, I'm going to be doing a small cash stuffing. I went to the bank, I drew some cash. It won't be the full paycheck, just a quick warning. But I do want to chit chat with you, vent a little bit of things that have been going on. The reason why it's not the whole paycheck, I already went and paid some bills since I was in town because I do live far from town, from where the bank is, from the where the city is. I went and paid some bills. Sometimes I just bring the cash. We do other things when we go to town. We go for our groceries, come home, sometimes visit family while we're over there. Then the day goes by. I mean, it's not too far, but the day goes by so fast. Then we come home and then we dedicate a special day for just the bill paying. We don't do everything directly deposited. I'm glad we're working it that way. A couple of years ago, even by just having one thing direct deposit, we would end up having, what's it called, um, overdraft fees because we weren't budgeting and we weren't taking care of our money the way we should. We do have a couple of bills that are directly deposit. Sometimes I just bring in the cash, just wait once the time is getting close where the date is going to be paid off for that bill to be due, then I go and deposit the money back. I mean, it's just a safer way since by us knowing that there's not enough money in the bank, we won't be tempted to spend it. That's just a way that we've been doing our budgeting. It's been working, but to be honest with you, sometimes I just want to give up. I want to give up with budgeting and I just wanted to share that with you and vent a little bit of real life of things that of how I've been feeling lately and the reason why I'm doing this is because one day I want to look back because sometimes I do lack in faith Jesus picks me up once again and then I'm like I know we're gonna get through it but it's difficult at times I have a lack of faith and it happens and sometimes I feel like I'm never gonna get over this debt I feel like it's never gonna happen then I have those positive thoughts if you are new to my channel hello hello my name is Delia on my channel I share with you all my budgeting journey I've been doing budgeting for about two years I noticed that it was working I share those videos with you all cash stuffing videos debt confession of how our debt is going DIYs everything that I'm doing along the way in order to be debt free and I always pray to God that someday in the near future that our prayers will be answered one thing that happened before we get into the cash stuffing sorry forward if you don't want to hear about this we were driving Someone threw a rock on our windshield. I mean, obviously when you're driving, sometimes that happens. We weren't even following too close to a car. I think it was like a trash, the big old dumpsters cars. I was driving on the other side of the road and that's the one that threw that rock at us at the windshield. So it cracked. We had to get a new windshield replaced. We had to replace our washer and dryer. That's a 3K payment there or debt payment dealing with at the moment. So our windshield wasn't too bad. I think I had like some money where we I was able to pay that. It didn't take too long for us to get that windshield replaced and then the next thing that happened was my washer broke how to get a washer and dryer we owe 3000 to Lowe's around there now something else that happened and this is very recent I don't know if I shared with this with you all yet what happened was our garage door is broken and that's going to cost us around 2500 to replace it's been broken for a couple years and we've been using it that way but now it really needs to be replaced it no longer opens like the, everything needs to be replace the motor the chains the whole door because it's broken so can you imagine all these things that um have been coming up and if i had a saving an emergency savings it would be of great help but what have i been doing i've been instead of saving for an emergency or saving money for house repairs or having sinking funds i've been putting all of that towards debt i mean don't get me wrong you could see it either way like oh what if you had already a thousand dollars in an emergency fund? You can use that. It still wouldn't be enough to cover the credit card for the washer and dryer. And it's, it also wouldn't be enough to pay for my garage door. The thousand dollars would be of some help, but it wouldn't pay everything. And I would get it more into debt trying to pay the full replacement of the garage door. So as of right now, there's a little fly flying around. As of right now, we are just parking our cars outside and waiting till we save that money up. And then my son's birthday's coming up. He wants to have a birthday party. It's the first year. He's seven. He's going to be eight. That He's really into inviting his friends over and he's never had any of his friends come over to the house. 
So he really wants a birthday party. How do you tell a seven-year-old that you can't have a birthday party that you can't afford it? We're going to try and save up at least for a small birthday party, pizza and, and something small. So hopefully we can save up for that. The garage is just going to have to wait and the washer and dryer. We're making payments on it. We have a year to pay it off with no interest. Pay it off with no interest. I don't know if you saw that, but I was able to kill that fly. It's one of those fruit flies. But they get annoying because they're just flying everywhere. Why do I have fruit flies? I don't think I have any fruits out there. Sometimes, oh, you know what? It is. It could be the bananas. That's why. I do have some bananas that are getting old. Sometimes what I do with the bananas, I put them in the freezer. Once they're really old, I put them like in a zipper bag. And then I just use it for shakes the next day. Which, they're pretty good that way. Okay, friends. Let's get into cash stuffing. I think I vented everything that I had to say. Oh, one more thing. One more thing of that, if it all wasn't enough, we need new tires. Right now, currently, I'm just telling you all this, but it was really getting to me where I just wanted to sit down and cry. I really did, but I'm being very strong about it. As I said, it's, it's a mixture of things. Some, uh, some people are going to watch this video and say, it's your fault that you don't have an emergency fund. It's your fault that you didn't save money for sinking funds. But even though I had saved money for sinking funds, I would have had to save a lot of money for it to cover all of these expenses. And I wouldn't have been able to pay off the debts that I have been able to pay off. So it, it could be a little bit controversial. Some people may see it one way. Some people may see it the other way. We're getting through it. Hopefully soon it'll all be over where, where we can just pay everything off. As of today, right now, I'm going to be cash stuffing. Well, let's see how much money we have. I went to the bank. I told them just to give me several different bills. I had already, as I said, I went to go pay some of my bills. So I just have this money left over and I'll let you know what we're doing with this money right now. I'm not even going to take my cash tray out since I don't have a lot of money. So that's 100, 200, 20, 225, 225, 26, 27, 28, 29. So 229 dollars is what I'm going to be cash stuffing for today. We need money for groceries and we need money for gas. So that's what we will be cash stuffing. I have my little envelope here which is fills our top priority. You know that if you've been following my journey, you know that I've been using this budgeting envelope for quite a while and I like to cash stuff everything in here first before I put the extra money to fun places. So I'm, I need one that says, what did I say? That I'm going to be cash stuffing today are groceries and gas. So for groceries, I like to stuff 240 is what I cash stuff. No, 260 I went up, but I had not, I honestly haven't even had that much money to pay that much. So I no longer have a hundred. And how much should I put for groceries? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put the 200 and then instead of 260 because I'm cash stuffing the bi weekly check. So 100 for one week and 100 for the other week. So we're going to be short 60 and 60 short $120 for our groceries. So we're probably just going to buy something, some cheap groceries. Not too much protein meats. Just live on cheap groceries that we can afford. Okay, and the rest. This is a sim This is a quick cash stuffing. The rest is going to be 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. That's going to be going towards gas, which that's also not enough. Oh, you know what? We took my mom. We've been spending a lot on gas, and we had to take my mom to get transportation. Because she went on vacation for, what was it? It was in Labor Day. No, it was twice this month. Yeah, that we had to take her. Like one weekend and then she rested one weekend. Then we had to take her again the other weekend. And we had to take her, pick her up, and then take her again and pick her up. The follow, the one week, um, the following two weeks after that. So that's why we're low on gas. Like this, this is the exact amount of gas that we need for the week or bi-weekly. So I don't know how we're going to do it. I'll probably have to walk to work. 
I don't know. I think it'll be enough. I think it'll be okay. Like we're just we're just gonna have to switch between cars and make the gas that we have and just make it with the gas that we do have. So that's how much we have for gas. And that's pretty much it, friends. A broke cash stuffer video and uh, just a casual girl who wants to give up. But I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep trying. Just being very real with you all. And this is something that I'm currently going through as of, as of today, as of right now. Okay, friends, take care. May God bless each and every one of you all. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.